this is day three of our labs of Democracy 2022. Um, and uh, we are in the beautiful state of New Jersey. On this side, on the other side, we are seeing the beautiful skyline um, of New York. We have been in Princeton. Um, we have seen many things. And you have um, had some very intense discussions with other state legislators um, on climate and energy policies. What do you take away so far? I think if we want to fight climate change, we have to find a global approach. So it's very important to talk to just both sides uh, of the Atlantic and just to exchange like ideas and thoughts and different issues we have in different uh, states and so on. So that's very important. That's what I am taking from here to back home, um, that it's not that easy, but I think we can manage it. Climate and energy plays an important role also in your legislative agenda. Tell us a little bit about the state you come from and why you believe climate and energy policy is so important right now. Baden-Württemberg is a very industrial state, so we have to find a way to uh, bring our whole energy supply to a renewable basis. And that's quite um, tough because even not right now, we, we don't uh, have enough sources for our own power supply. We have to import all the electricity. And now we want to build up uh, even more uh, renewable power plants. And that's quite a difficult task. Uh, and we have to find a way to, uh, to uh, bring all the industries to a more climate neutral, carbon neutral um, a way of production otherwise all the all the um, uh, the workforce will just be deployed you had the opportunity to talk to state legislators from all parties um, also republicans and democrats um, the social democrats at home the fdp um, the greens the cdu um, is there common ground I think there is common ground on uh, on, on the goal, like uh, uh, reaching the goals from the Paris Agreement. But uh, we are heavily discussing about the way how to how to get there. And uh, well, but it's quite quite a fun, and it's helping to to have this exchange because it's kind of off the normal party politics right here so we can just exchange our ideas on a on a more uh, more a less political way just more uh, based on the facts and why in a transatlantic way well i think it, um, the us is a very, is a very important uh, partner in like in the western world and so i think if the us and the states in the us are going on the way to more climate, uh, uh, more climate neutral or carbon neutral um, um, way of life, then it can be kind of an uh, example for others to follow, and uh, that's why it's so important to have this transatlantic exchange. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>